What's happening, gang? Welcome to another edition of Hashtag Ask Glazer. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I'm a New Yorker at heart. But then I moved out west, and I became like a wussy when it comes to the cold. But I'm freezing out here in the lake. Come on, man. All right, but here, I'm going to suck it up for you people. Our fans, let's do it. All right, number one here. At New Throne asks, how likely do you see Aaron Rodgers getting traded? If so, what's the percentage that he goes to the Jets? Boy, he's logging in perfectly, isn't it? I can see that happen. But isn't it wild that... Look, Brett Favre, that's the team he was traded to, right? So Aaron Rodgers, he can follow suit. He does love Nathaniel Hackett. I wouldn't be surprised. I do know that the Jets are looking for a veteran quarterback in there. You know, that you know, I told you earlier in the season that Zach Wilson lost his confidence. I thought they were gonna move on from him. And obviously with them getting a veteran quarterback, which that's what they're looking for, whether it's they go after a Lamar Jackson, they go after an Aaron Rodgers, they're going after somebody there because they have so many pieces in the puzzle there on that offense and really both sides of the ball there. The Jets are not far away. They're a quarterback away from being a true contender. At Liam Blatant S, what free agents can the Giants realistically get at linebacker and wide receiver? Here's the thing, the Giants are in good position cap-wise. The best thing you want is when you bring a new head coach and a new general manager is you change the culture. And the Giants used to have this culture of, oh man, the sky is falling. Every time something bad happens, here it goes again. They've changed that culture. They now believe that they can win. So do I think they're going to go after a lot of wide receivers, not just one? Yeah, I think it'll be multiple. I think they'll really upgrade over there. Uh, I love the way Joe Shane drafts also. Then the Giants are going to really be building a contender for years and years. Donnie Hughes asks, Jay, what's the latest on the sale of Washington? I know something's close. You're right. Something will be closer. I think sooner than later. Look, this whole time they've wanted it to get something done where they can basically vote on it at the March NFL owners meetings. That's the end of March there, where all the owners could vote. And that's when it becomes official. So the sale has to be agreed upon before that. So the latest you're looking at is the end of March. At Big Dodge asked, should the Steelers put Mike Tomlin on the hot seat? What? Big Dodge? The dude's never had a losing season. What are you talking about? No, no, Mike Tomlin should have a street named after him, a bridge named after him, a river named after him, an avenue named after him. A, a, a whole part of the city. That, are you kidding me? The dude's never had a losing season. And with a rookie quarterback coming in there? No, 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 no. Mike Tomlin one of the most elite coaches that we've had of this generation. Matthew Tabik says, Sean loves Jerry. Jerry loves Sean. I'm assuming you're talking about our Sean Payton. Mike came up short again. What's going to happen to Big TJ? Here's the thing, okay? This was supposed to be the year that it was going to be the end for Mike McCarthy, right? They get rid of Amari Cooper. They let Randy Gregory go. They have all this cap faith. They don't use it. And they still get to the divisional playoff round. I know you're saying that, oh, they came up late. But no, this was a year that was supposed to kind of almost be a sacrificial year for Mike McCarthy. And every time something good happens for the Cowboys, Mike McCarthy gives that credit to everybody else. Every time something bad happens over there, even if it's somebody else, he puts all the blame on himself. But I think Mike McCarthy doesn't get enough credit. At VTAR8, where Lamar Jackson inevitably gets traded this offseason, who's likely to land him? What's the compensation going to be for the Ravens? Here's the thing, yeah. They're still going to try and work out a deal, but he wants a fully guaranteed contract. I don't see that happening unless he starts to decide to give concessions. I don't think see that happening. I don't see the Ravens saying they're going to give concessions either. So I do think they're going to end up franchise tagging him and trying to trade him. Won't be surprised if that happens. But again, we talked about Aaron Rodgers with the Jets. From them, I call. And I'll also see if a team like Washington, team like the Jets. I mean, there's going to be so many teams out there this year that need starting quarterbacks. Lamar Jackson will have a market. At Elon DW5 says, do you have any hope that the Lions could actually pick it off off of the season success next season? Absolutely. They believe for the first time in a long time, they don't believe the sky is falling. They believe. I think they'll piggyback and you'll see an even better team next year in Detroit. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this edition of Hashtag Ask Glazer. I'm going to put my hat back on because, yes, I become a cold-weather wuss.